Pump up the volume. If your group is too small to make a difference, welcome other groups to join in. This is easiest with smaller groups that have similar needs. Also intimidate and bully non-group members, family, friends, co-workers, to pretend to be in your group. Call them haters if they refuse. Call them bigots. Threaten to expose them as psychologically unsound. Liken them to the KKK and Nazis. They'll join your ranks if for no other reason than to shut you up. This grows your numbers. This makes the new amalgamated group look bigger than it actually is, and therefore in a better bargaining position. For instance, less than 3% of the population identifies itself as gay, and like any group, only a tiny number of this 3% is politically active. So they welcome in politically active lesbians, bisexuals, transsexuals, the questioning, the confused, the hedonistic, the pedophilic, yada yada yada, plus all their intimidated friends and families. Not because they like them, because they can use them. This new amalgamated LGBT LMNOP group can arguably claim that they represent 5 to 10% of the general population. That's enough screaming memes to actually be noticed. Brilliant! There's power in numbers. Be a joiner. This is general disorder for Vulture Guard. Carry on, Canada. <laughs>